Hello, sir. How much is the duffel bag? What's that? Like, what size? This is last size. I do one. I do 180. Maximum. I give you. 400. Oh no, my friend, I cannot. I cannot. I I could do a scorpion. Do a small one, a baby one. Small one, baby one. Okay. Yeah, for the video, huh? Okay. What's the best price? 100. Be honest, do you like the noise yeah. or, or does it bother you? Is it noise and people believe in this is lucky. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Bangkok. Now, it just got done absolutely pouring here in the Khao San Road area. And this is my brother's first time here in Bangkok. So of course I had to bring him over to the legendary Khao San Road because this is where, you know, my very first impressions of Thailand took place back in 2017, way before the YouTube channel and way before I even knew what the hell I was gonna end up doing while traveling so when I was backpacking around this is where I first came to and just absolutely fell in love with it now just because it just got done uh, pouring I think it's perfect time to start going on a little shopping spree because right now in Khao San Road a lot has changed and the main Avenue that used to be completely loaded with bars although it is uh, very much that way late in the evenings during the day it is completely different it has pretty much turned into a massive market once again it took a little bit of time after the covid to recover and make it to that point but today we're gonna go do some intense souvenir shopping for this guy yeah, are you excited yeah. we're gonna see what we can find yeah he was eyeing all kinds of things so that's why i decided you know what let's turn on the camera let me show you guys around because this place is awesome and there are so many different uh things to buy so we're gonna see what i don't know two thousand baht can get us here in kaosan road now there's all kinds of street food active sawadika are you gonna want some fried chicken andrew was talking about this fried chicken as soon as we started walking this way It's 25 baht one piece? Yes. Oh, and then you get three for 25. Oh no, these ones are uh, 25 each. Okay. Yeah. One. I think I'm gonna pass on the fried chicken right now. I just got done eating. I actually have myself a little uh, pad thai plate and a bunch of a bunch of sweet snacks this morning. <laughs> Is this spicy sauce? Spicy. Oh, okay. Angie tries to stay away from the spicy. But you've you've been eating quite a bit of spice this trip though. It's just this this spicy I feel like is more manageable than or not as bad as the Sri Lankan spicy. The Sri Lankan spicy was just was too strong, huh? Yeah. Thank you so much. Cup and cup. So one thing that they do very well amongst everything else in Thailand is the fried chicken. And to my surprise, a lot of the locals actually eat the fried chicken in the morning for breakfast and i actually took andrew out to try his very first piece what was it two nights ago and dude has been hooked ever since every time we walk past somebody selling some fried chicken andrew's always quick to jump on it so good. hey what's up bro i watch you a lot on um youtube I oh do, thanks yeah. a lot man yeah, yeah. i appreciate that where yeah, you, you from maybe actually come here because they're now on to try all the food that you do. oh so, dude amazing that's exactly what we're doing right now my brother's first time as well all oh, right yeah yeah well, so how long have you been here? How long, where are you from I'm from Southampton in England, obviously. Oh, so, cool. Yeah, okay. Just oh, we're here for a running month. away from the cold. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Fair enough. But you know, I don't mind a bit of rain. So. Yeah, why not? Especially when it's nice and warm. Yeah, I usually see you with your missus as well. She's here as well. She just lost in a, another part of the market. Oh, is she? So yeah. you just spend all day eating loads of different things. Don't That's you? exactly what we're doing, bro. And the old beer now. And, and then, the old beer, of course. Definitely. It was nice yeah. meeting you. Thank you so Pleasure much, though, bro. No I appreciate you. Take care. Take care. Oh, it's always nice meeting you guys on the streets. So. Yeah, it's Andrew's first time as well, so it's nice running around Bangkok and playing tour guide today, especially on a nice rainy day like this one here. It really shows the vibe of the rainy season here in Thailand, especially because the mornings can start off nice and warm, extremely hot, and then come evening time and it's a completely different world out here. So this here is the streets prior to Khao San Road and this is actually where I filmed my saying yes video to all of the street vendors a few months back and you can tell that right now it's definitely a lot more popping than it was back in that video 
And I'm not sure why that is. I just feel like Bangkok is ever changing. And every few months that you come out and out here, you know, there's just so much that is different. Now, Andrew, as a first time Bangkoker, what what is your what your favorite um, memory so far of this trip? Would you say? There's so many. There's so many, huh? I still just have to say all the all the food you can get on the street. Like, yeah, I'm gonna miss it. Just walking through and finding everything that you want, or and trying things that are like a dollar fifty, two dollars that don't break the yeah. bank. Like where we're at, where we live at home. And a lot of you guys can relate. You can just walk around and, you know, try all kinds of different foods because a plate of Thai food at a Thai restaurant is running you like $17. Yeah. So, you know, here it runs you like two. And of course, these beautiful views of all the temples as you're walking through the streets. So, yeah, let me know. If you guys are planning on coming on out here, what is one of the reasons why? Or what reason... Has it been that um, that was given to you on why you love Bangkok so much? For me, I just think it's a city that has absolutely everything, and that is the, that is one of the reasons why I love this place so much. And of course, the street food is just incredible. Now, here in Khao San Road, you can find all of the very typical traditional Thai snacks. However, my recommendation is to always, you know, spend a little bit of time on Khao San Road, but make sure you you venture off into other areas of Bangkok because the city's huge and there's so much more that it has to offer than just these streets. I unfortunately was like um, many solo travelers that come on out here for the first time and my first trip in Bangkok, I literally thought Khao San area was the entire city. So keep that in, keep that in mind, there's a lot more to see. All right, we're on Khao San Road now. Let's start doing some shopping, you ready? What are some um, items that you saw along the way today that were that you were like, oh, I gotta have? For sure, I gotta get some of those coconut bowls. It's pretty much the like, coconut you know, bowls. All the tourist stuff. Okay. So I could take it back home for for the one trip, so that next time I come, I don't have to do as much souvenir shopping. Exactly. I like that be plan. Back soon. I agree with you. No one can stay away from this place for too much, for too long. Well, yeah, this here is the main avenue in Khao San Road, and look, they got all kinds of. Um, the traditional Thai shirts with all the Thai phrases, the elephant shirts, elephant pants. A lot of like trendy uh, purse and bag stores. They also sell a lot of jewelry, you know, all the typical tourist items. But they're cool. I mean, they're all things that you should definitely purchase before leaving. You don't want to change New Jersey for this trip? No? All right. Fair enough, not everybody can rock the uh, the chain jersey. But yeah, a lot of street food out here. Of course, the famous passport covers. Everybody that's been to Thailand, I'm sure, has had one of these or two. I used to bring them home all the time as souvenirs. I think I got you one. I don't know if it's from Bangkok. But... Maybe it's not from Bangkok. I think it's from Phuket or somewhere else. I don't know. They sell them in Cambodia as well. But yeah, of course, there's a lot of like henna places to do hairs, massages on the streets. And at night, what actually happens here is that all of the tents um, get put away and then a bunch of like mini bars start to open up. Thank you. Hello. What's up, bro? Suit, what's that? Oh, we're good on the suit right now. But yeah, the suit guys are obviously always out here as well. All right, let's see where we start diving on in for some souvenir shopping because Right now, we're just smashing through Khao San Road. All right, let's start diving on into some places. Hmm. These are like a t-shirt store. We got some more henna tattoos. You know what? That little store looks nice, right? Let's dive on in there. Let's see what we can find over here in this direction. Sawadee Krab. Wow, these bags are awesome. This is definitely like um, what my grandma loves. She enjoys these bags very much. And every time me and Andrew travel anywhere, we always bring her back bags like these. But now she says not to, she has too many. But, but we're still gonna bring her some. 
So yeah, let's grab let's grab a few. Like this one. Yeah, that one's nice. I like that one. That is beautiful. Oh, the, you have more back there as well. Are those a hundred baht? Yes, sir. One hundred baht as well. Okay. I think I got her one just like this last year. All right, there's a lot of um, background music coming from the bar next door. But yeah, they got all kinds of magnets, purses, bags. 100 baht, that is an awesome deal. Thank you so much. Why not? Let's kick it off with a nice little bag for grandma. I actually want to do some souvenir shopping as well, so we'll see what else we can come across um, along the way. It's nice to see that there's a lot of people out on the streets, even though it's raining as well. Because it's deaf. Same vibe for everybody. It doesn't matter if it's your end neighbors. You're here. So. Yeah, exactly. I agree with Andrew. That's what he's been saying the entire time. He's like, yeah, bro, I'm a little tired, but I'm in Bangkok, so I'm not going to sleep. I'm staying up to like 2 in the morning every night. Yeah. Just taking advantage of my time here since it's such a small trip. Exactly. It's a short trip, but he'll be back a lot sooner than, Meeting even, than later. I'm even eating double meals for the day because, you know, got to count up for the days I won't be here. <laughs> I wish he was lying, but he's totally not. That's the way it's been going. Oh man, Andrew, you actually need a bag. For all my souvenirs that I've been trying to buy. Yeah, Andrew's been going crazy. Let's see what we can purchase from here. Sawadi Kara. Oh, this souvenir store is nice. Wow, I like this mask. How much are the masks? Um, like the medium size one? Medium size, 650. 650, okay. Hmm. Those are beautiful. I like the elephants as well. How much for the, for the small ones? 100. 100? I like those as well. How much, do you have a deal if we buy several pieces? How many pieces? Uh, three? Uh, 100. Buy 10, oh, it's okay. I take price. oh, I gotta buy 10. Hmm. I like them though. I like all of the elephant stuff. You know what? Let's see. Which ones do you like more? You want one of these or? Is that an incense holder? Or an incense holder? Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. I like that one. Let's get that one. Why not? Let me see it. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Okay. We'll take this one. Yeah. yeah thank you. You need rabbit? Uh, please. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. They're all beautiful. They're all beautiful. Look at these elephant pieces. It's beautiful, huh? All right. Oh, yeah, those look nice. All right, so not a bad way to kick off the souvenir tour. So we got a purse and a um, small incense holder. But that was actually what you were looking at prior to coming on out here. So it's nice that he found it right away. For some incense? I like those backpacks, too. Look how amazing those look. And of course, they got all the, the tank tops as well. Bangkok tanks. You need plastic bags? Um, I think we're, we're okay right now. Yeah. Thank you. You're you have a beautiful star. Thank you so much. Do you have 50 bucks? I think I do have 50 bucks. Yes, I do. Thank you. Cup and cup. Thank you so much. Have a great day, okay? Have a great day. Oh, sorry. Oh, man. It does feel great after it rains for like a brief, I don't know, for like a cool down period. Then after that, it just gets extremely humid. 
All right, so we're actually on the hunt for a suitcase as well. But I'm not sure exactly. A suitcase or a duffel bag, okay. Well, why don't we check some prices at the next spot we see. Look, there's one right up here on the corner. I feel like the rain has a lot of people's spirits down. Not as talkative as I'd like. Oh, look, he has some duffel bags. Hello, sir. How much is the duffel bag? What's up? Like, what size? This is last size. 1,700? Yeah. Would you do 1,000? The small size, okay. 1,000 for the small size? Yeah. You need a lot bigger than that one. Yeah, I need it. Okay, what's this. the best price you do for that one? This last size. Yes. Was. You have different colors first? Or no? Uh, Black, yellow, and only this is which color you need, I can find. Not at my my friend shop. Oh, okay. So whatever color you want, he can find it at this friend shop. Yeah. But he has black and yellow. Black and yellow and the blue one. And the blue one, okay. Is it good quality? Yeah, copy, good quality. Okay, but it's made in China or Thailand? Vietnam. Vietnam. Okay. Um, well, what's the best price you do for me? This one, my boss said that. Come on, seven, rainy day price. Yeah, okay. My boss said that 1,700 baht. 1,700 baht? 1,500. I still think we could find, you know, something else. Yeah, you think so? It's up to you because that is a nice bag. 1,500 is like what? Um, 45 bucks. How much? Euro dollar? Yeah. Oh, you know. Euro? 38. 38 bucks. 38 dollars. 38, 38 40, 40, 40 yeah. Okay, you know what? Let's take one. Why not? We'll do one. Um, can you get us, what do you want? The black one? Yeah, black and yellow. Black yeah, black and yellow? Black and gray. <laughs> All right, well, let's have a. Hello. <laughs> me? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, of course. How are you? Where are you from? Philippines. Oh, from the Philippines. Salamat Okay. Thank you. I love taking pictures of you guys. Okay, thank you. Of course, thank you so much. Enjoy your no, it's okay. Enjoy your time. Always so much love from the Philippines. I love it. Alright. Oh, that one's nice. Yeah, that is nice, huh? Oh, it's like the backpack one though. They all are. Are they? Yeah, they all are. They, they're backpack uh, luggage. Like you can use it as a backpack or a duffel. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. A lot of cool items that you can purchase at these shops always. Let's see how big it is. Yeah, let's see how much would actually fit in there. But yeah, these souvenir shops, you can find everything. It's awesome. Are you open every day? Yeah. Every day. Oh, nice. I like the way you do business. Oh, that's a pretty decent size. I like that. Wow. Okay. How many liters, you know? It doesn't say? Okay. Okay. I like it. I think it's an awesome bag. Okay, we'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. One five. One five. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Andrew really wants to bargain. It's his first time in Asia, but you know what? Um, I think that's a pretty respectable price. You know, you walk into a place like MBK Center and try and purchase something like that, and they're charging you about three grand. All right. Um, can you help me with this real quick? Let me see. Thank you. And how much are these hats? Like 400 baht. 400 baht? Yeah. Oh, man. You give me a special price. Two for 500. Two cup. I think this bag. Okay. Oh, man. Two ex Okay. Thank you. Couple oh, cup. you have 500. You okay. This bag. Okay. 100 more. Use. 600. Okay. I need money for the taxi, bro. <laughs> Come on, I need money to because get home. Then, uh, this one is my boy last bar, really Can I see one? Yeah. Let me see one. Yeah. Why not? Just, I have more power. This is a safari hat. Oh, this is nice for the beach, huh? Yeah. 
Oh, I like I that. I like them. You like them? All right, you do 550. Yes, let's do. All right. <laughs> we call you Bam. You Bam. You because we bought the. Bam, okay. Yeah. There you go. Let's do that. Here's another hundred. And um, what colors do you have? Oh, you got all the nice colors. This color. Oh. Okay. Which color are you feeling, Andrew? I think I found the green one or this one. The green one's nice, huh? That one is very nice as well. Oh, this one. You know what? I'll do this one. Yep. Okay, we'll take these two. Can you give me a bag? Yeah. Thank you. Cup and cup. Do you have 50 baht? Um. Uh, because I do 200, uh, I can try it. Okay. Yes, I do. Oh, no, no, I don't. I don't have 50 baht. You have 50 baht? 20. 20? And then I think I got 10. Yeah, any kind. Okay. Oh, there you go. Andrew got me. Okay. These two color okay, sir? Yes, those two color are nice. Thank you. There you go. 50 baht. 40, okay. okay. Cup yeah. and cup. 100 baht. 100 baht. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Have a nice day. You too. Have a nice Thank day. You, Thank you so much. All right. It's time for us to continue on with our little shopping spree. Let's take this video up to another level now, because now we have some storage space. Actually, you know what? I can't really crank it up too, too high because guess what happened to me today, guys? I stuck my debit card in the machine and it has denied me money, just like it has been the last few days. So I have some problems with my bank right now. I gotta fix those out or sort those out before I keep pulling money out of there and attempting to because it's been charging my card and then it doesn't actually dispense my money and same thing actually happened to Andrew in Sri Lanka right yeah they returned it the next day though yeah they're pretty good at that but um, I don't want to just keep charging the card because they're gonna be like dude why did you keep doing it if you know that it's already done it twice so that's where we stand Ooh. man you're a scary man bro what is that a cigarette cigarette holder how much is that oh calculator time 750 bro Ooh, that is food. expensive how much you pay that is how much that is expensive how much um how much i give you food me food like look i do Lighter. one i do 180 Lighter. maximum <laughs> i give you 400 oh no my friend i cannot i cannot i cannot i cannot no way Okay, for you, for me. You buy I for you. Oh I no, you. my friend, I cannot do that. No. Oh man, come this this man's trying yeah, to charge come me come a come fortune. Come. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Good. Two. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What do you want? I don't even know if I. I don't even want anything from there. But why not? You're a good man, honest man. Oh man. You're an honest man. Hey, you. <laughs> What's what's the best price you can yeah, sell this for? Yeah, two twenty. Yeah. What what is the best price you sell that for? Yeah, two twenty. Yeah, okay, happy sell. Okay, all right. Two twenty is a good deal. But Andrew, you don't even smoke cigarettes, so that's a waste of, yeah. of space. You might as well get a Thailand lighter or something. Okay, what is your best price for this one? Yeah, yeah, two twenty. Yeah. Two twenty. Yeah. That's a that's a less of a fancier wallet. I mean lighter. Lighter too. Lighter too. Oh, it shocks you? Oh, dang. No, I'm good. I'm not trying that. A shocking lighter. Okay, you know what? Which one do you like? You like a Jack Daniels lighter? These are cool. Same, same. Same price. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah. Is that China? No, no, China, yeah. What quality? Vietnamese? Vietnamese or Thai? Good. Yeah. Thailand good. one. Thailand. Yeah. Okay. The Thailand one. Alright, we take the Thailand one. Thailand. I take that one. Kapun Kap. Kapun Kap. New one. New one. They come with there gas already? Get full, let me feel. No gas? Get full now. Get full. Gas full? Oh, okay. Thank you. Get full. United States. Get full. United States? You know what? I don't think I have the 20. Thank 
you. Cup and cup. Take care, okay, sir? Good business. Enjoy your day, okay? Oh, man. The scorpion lady. How much are your scorpions? One. One. One hundred fifty. One hundred. Oh man, is Andrew gonna do his first scorpion right now? You gonna live it up like a real person on Cal on Kalsan Road for the first time? I don't think I could do a scorpion. Do yeah. a small one, a baby one. Small one, baby one, okay. Come. Yeah, for the video, huh? Okay, what's the best price? One hundred. Sixty bucks. One hundred. No, you sell them for sixty bucks at night yesterday. Okay, okay. Okay, sixty bucks. <laughs> um, up to you, Andrew. You Are you gonna go down with it? Or? Yeah, eat on everything. Oh, they don't, they don't, they don't mix it up with the spices. No, man, this like ain't, this ones. ain't Mexico City, bro. You're not about to drink it with a mezcal shot. And what is this, cobra? Snake. Snake. Ooh, that looks crazy. <laughs> that looks nice. Right, I eat a scorpion, you eat a snake. No, I'm good right now. <laughs> Come on, you, you've never done the scorpion you see how before. see because he, he knew, he knew I didn't want to do it. I did a, I did a grasshopper last night, and now he has the camera on me. He knows I can't say no. All right, so here, let me get my photo ready. Let me take a photo, ma'am. We'll, we'll buy, we'll buy. There you go. Awesome. Okay, now, nah. let's see. Here, let me, you know what? Let me pay you. I pay you first. There you go. Thank you. You want more? No, no, no. Two, one hundred, okay? No, it's okay. I don't, I don't want one, no. Just one, please. Thank you. All right, we'll get our change and then Thank what are these? Uh, tarantula. Spider. Spider. Huh. Is it delicious? Good. Haroi chi ching? Ah, ching ching. Okay, <laughs> maybe next time, maybe next time. Okay. Okay, kapun ka. All right, let's see him. Let's watch Andrew oh, eat man, his we first. Eat the whole thing, I think you should eat the whole thing. Let me know, guys. How would you do it if you're in Thailand living your best life? For the first time, would you eat the whole thing or just take a bite out of would it? Would you eat a scorpion or go get you a patty or a pad thai? Oh, you, all right, all right. You have a point there, but now you got two cameras pointing at you, so ah, uh, why not? Oh, all right. Andrew's the type to like stuff like that, though. <laughs> the grasshopper was better. Not bad, though. You like that? He's about to eat the tail too. That man is crazy. Bro. All right. Well, the legend himself just crushed the scorpion on Kalsan Road. How's that make you feel, though? It's awesome because you see that in so many like videos and uh, movies, and now you just knocked those little things off the list. You know? Maybe later. Thank you. All right, Andrew. What are we on the hunt for next? We could make like the famous passport cover. Everybody loves to watch the passport covers be made. Or um, we could purchase some sunglasses. You know what? I gotta see how much money is in the is in the account. I got like 400 baht left, so it's enough to be like not reckless at all. So let's see what we can squeeze in for, with like the next 20 bucks that I have in my hand. Sawadi Kap, how are you, bro? I'm good at you, bro. Doing good. Yeah. What is the What is the best Thailand souvenir? The best one. Tuk tuk. A tuk tuk. Yes. Why would you uh, recommend the tuk tuk? It's a famous yeah in Thailand. It's a famous vehicle Thailand. in Thailand. Yeah, this Thailand. Okay. Yeah. Where are you from, brother? I'm from Myanmar, brother. Ah, Myanmar. And I have a Beautiful like country. This, like you can use a ashtray too and stand too. Oh, so it can work as a frame and a. Yeah. Now, what's your what's your personal favorite item? My favorite item. In your shop, yeah. Item is like this one, Tom. Oh, those elephants are beautiful, huh? Yeah. Okay. So, how much would something like that cost me? This one for three fifty. Three fifty. Yes. Small one for two twenty. Wow, man. Two twenty. Two twenty. Beautiful shop, but expensive, man. But not expensive, brother. I have a cheap one out here. Hundred baht here. Oh, on your bought for keychains. Yes. And what about for the ashtray? This one for 280. 280. Yeah, small one for 200 baht here. Same one. Oh, that's a smaller one. Yes. Okay, for 200 for 200 you said? Yeah. Okay. If you like, I got a little and, discount and, for you here. Yeah. And what is the price of the tuk tuk? Tuk tuk, small one 250, big one 350. Okay. Well, what do you what do you what's calling your name? And what about these little toads that everybody buys on Kaosan Road? This, yeah, this is frog. Why is that so famous on Kaosan Road? This is lucky frog. 
be honest, do you like the noise or, or does it bother you? It's a noise and people believe in this lucky. Oh, okay. Hi, anyway, Asia. They believe in this lucky. Lucky. When you get no. this, your money income and 100,000 for daily income. Wow. And what's what's the price of the small one? Small one for like a, It's because we're balling like on a budget right now. 150. Okay. 200 baht. 250. Yeah, 300. It's 350. It's 450. Okay, okay. Well, then let's do. Yeah, you want to do a mini frog? How much? This is small. 150. 150. It's 200. You do 200 for 150. I give you 180, okay? Bro, rainy day special, man. Okay, okay. What <laughs> yeah. Hey, this, come to this man's shop. He does rainy day special. How about like this one? No, not this one. This one? one bro, okay. Look, I, I, I spent all my money on Cal Sun Road. It gets you every time. One more, one more. Something like Tuk Tuk. I give you 200 one for you. No, it's okay. Thank you, brother. I respect your hustle, though, man. Thank you so I like much. you. You have good vibes. Thank you. Hopefully it stops raining so that you can start making some money yeah, out here. Thank you so much. Man. Because right now everybody's in the house, huh? Yeah. If you come to Thailand on rainy season, Wait, woman, if you come to Thailand on rainy season, you better still enjoy Thailand and get out the room because there's nothing you can do about it. Ten baht. Thank you so Kapun much. Kap. Your Thank you, brother. Kap. Have a nice Kap. day. What's the name of your shop? My, my shop, no I'm name, but my name is Rocky. Rocky. Oh yeah. man, if you're on Khao San Road, come and meet Rocky. Thank you. Kap. Get your souvenir, right? A yeah. nice tuk tuk to take on. A sim card too. Yeah. Sim card too. Yeah. Okay, so a nice place for a sim card. Look. Yeah, cheaper than 7-Eleven. We said. Yeah. Cheaper than 7-Eleven. Yes. Oh man, that's the plug right there. All right, thanks, Thank Rocky. You. See you, brother. See you, man. Yeah, Rocky's the vibe. Come mess with Rocky. But yeah, a couple of the music. What happened? You were gonna change your outfit, your shirt right now? Oh, what were you gonna do? Oh, okay. Well, you can do that, or um, we can just continue for a bit. It's up to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's. We gotta get organized, guys. Look at what Andrew's lugging around with right now, and it gets heavy quite fast. All right, so let's continue on a little bit more. Man, I wish there was an ATM. Actually, you know what? There is one. Let me. Let me just try and take a little bit of cash outs. Um, I'll get back to you in a second and we can reorganize bags. Um, I need to try and hit this ATM though to make sure that I, I, I need to, I need some more money to keep this going. This is too much fun. Look, they got mango steamed durian, all kinds of uh, rotis being made. Andrew just tried his first roti two days ago and he's had one every day since and he's addicted. I'm addicted to everything here. He's addicted to everything he tries. And he loves these stores right here. <laughs> that are found everywhere as well. Unfortunately, no bits of cash came out of that machine. So right now, Andrew just got done putting everything in the backpack. We're about to hit the road, and I think what we're actually about to do is just grab some street food because I only have about 300 baht left in my pocket, and as you're spending that on souvenirs, man, it goes quite fast. But let me know what you guys think of Khao San Road so far. I mean, it is a super beautiful place, um, great vibes every time you come on out here, and it is definitely a place that everybody should visit when in Thailand. It is amazing here. So yeah, a lot of souvenir shops, a lot of guys selling items. Of course, you got the famous Pad Thai out and about. The sausages are amazing. All of this stuff that you see on the skewers, I recommend you try. Of course, another coffee, Thai tea lady. Mandatory on every corner. And if you've ever seen people's pictures from Bangkok, they always have one with this famous sign here that says, I love Khao San and Ronald McDonald with the um, couple, with the thank you hands. And look at that place, Plantopia, wow. But I love how all the Ronald McDonald's around all of like Thailand or Bangkok that I've seen so far have the Ronald McDonald out there like that. Yeah, it's awesome, I've right? I've been trying to make a collection, like take one with everyone I see. Yeah, he's taking, have you haven't taken one with this one yet, huh? No. We have to do that one. Yeah, we'll we'll do that one here in a bit. All right, Andrew. Um, well, Andrew's been pretty much snagging on everything, so I can count on him to join me for pretty much anything. Um, are you down for a pad thai? I'm down for a pad thai, a pad anything. Okay. Thai, really. All right. Well, I don't know where we should sit down. Maybe that spot looked pretty good. Hello, I put. Um. Yes. Is it from this cart? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let me look. Okay. Let me see. Okay, so they got some egg rolls. Sawadee krab. 
You know what? Um, what are you feeling? Pad Thai with chicken? Yeah. Shrimp? I'll do a... Um... They actually got a little bit of everything. They got all kinds of green curries, fr uh, fried rice with curry and shrimp powder, green curries, egg rolls. One. I mean, uh... Yeah, just one. Just one. You know what? We can do one order of spring rolls. Two. Cup and cup. Let's watch this preparation of this beauty take place right now. I love how everything they make is just like right in front of you too. Like. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? It's like on a... To be honest, that's one thing I fell in love with, with um, when it comes to street food, is watching the actual preparation take place. It's like on a little hibachi grill everywhere you go. Yeah, it's awesome. It's a lot cheaper than hibachi grill. It's not a lot better, to be honest, too. It is. Some of the best food you can find in Thailand is always going to be on the streets. And they're never stingy with the portions either. You always get a nice generous yeah, plate. Oh, nice. They put chicken and shrimp in that one. That's what the number one was. Wow. Yeah. For how much? 80 baht. So around $2.50 gets you the uh, chicken pad thai with shrimp. Back at home, this is a $16.99 small plate. Yeah. Probably a lot smaller of a portion for about 17 bucks. Let me know what you guys think of this video as well. I wasn't actually planning on making um, these videos, but today has been just so, such an eventful day and I, I've been visiting so many areas that I haven't documented on the channel in over like a year and a half now since uh, right when COVID actually ended. And a lot of you guys have been asking me to show you uh, Khao San Road, Nana Plaza, all of the touristic hotspots. However, I just really haven't had time to get to it, especially right now as, as it's my brother's first time in Thailand. So we'll have to run that back in a few weeks but I mean we've covered quite a bit right in, a, in just a matter of a few days oh yeah seemed like every little piece well Bangkok almost. a lot a lot of little pieces of Bangkok but there's just so many like every, every corner is a world on its own but here come the egg rolls with the sweet and sour sauce man it's crazy don't to me play though, like, what's been like really eye opening to me is like when you walk on the on the metro you get somewhere like really fast and then when you're in the car, it just seems so far away. Yeah, La the other day we were stuck on a three hour Uber. All right, let's go sit down. Cup and cup. Can, can we sit right here? Thank you. All right. Well, this is where we're gonna enjoy our nice little meal. Quick little snack before we meet up with Gladys. I love seeing the tuk-tuk just pass on by. Gladys, because then she's gonna call us crazy for eating again, because I'm gonna want to eat again later. Yeah, because Gladys is always just like, what are you guys eating? Why are you eating again? We eat so much in Thailand. It's kind of incredible. She's actually asking me my location right now. So let me send her the location. Thank you so much. Come and come. We just had one. Thank you. He just had his first uh, Thai scorpion. Thank you. Come and come. Andrew's doing it right today. He's knocking out all the um, Khao San Road memories. The only thing that you're missing is the party tonight and you're missing some buckets. You need to drink some buckets. And I gotta try the live squid. How's that? Nice. Everything's always good. It's always good. Well guys, um, I think we're gonna just enjoy this meal real quickly and then I'll tune back in once Andrew smashes through this pad thai because that looks amazing. Oh, I'm sure it so, tastes amazing. Um, if I had a little bit more cash, we'd sit here and just say yes to all the vendors that come on up to us, but unfortunately we we don't have that those funds available right now. We gotta wait to um, figure out what's going on with the bank. Cup and cup. So Gladys joined the party. She just got done doing a little bit of shopping herself on Khao San Road. How are you feeling today? How are you enjoying Bangkok? Amazing. Very hot. It's very hot. But when you eat your pad thai or your pad capro, you forget about the hot. <laughs> she has okay. a good point. She has a good point. Now, what did you just end up shopping for? Uh, I bought this bag for 100 baht. Wow, that's a nice deal. I bought a white t-shirt to get into the temples. I bought, of course, an elephant pants. <laughs> wow, she's, she has stretched her money. Oh, I bought some 
something for you. Really? I forgot to share it in my video. Oh my god, that for is awesome. Money. Wow, so definitely guys, women know how to spend money better than we do. Because <laughs> we got a lot of nothing. For... 20 bucks for luck. Wow, thank you so much. And that I is, that is an amazing Manchu. gift. Yes. A tuk tuk made of chan can. A chan can. That is awesome. Wow, that, that's a lot of items you got. A lot of items. I feel like we didn't stretch ours nowhere. Well, we got a big bag. Yeah, that's true. Well, Man, we kicked off the tour very wrong. We didn't plan the budget accordingly. That's where poor planning comes to play. But I hope you guys are still enjoying this video so far. Man, I wish I could have resolved this issue right now with my card. Andrew can obviously go to the ATM for me, but I'm trying to think about if um, whether or not that is a good decision to do right now because I have to save all the money for the Pattaya taxi in the morning as well. So, you know, it's kind of like bouncing between two thoughts. I don't know. Do you think the rain is going to come back? It's hard uh, to say, huh? Yeah. All right, so you know what? I think we should just go on a hunt for, you know, a little bit more, a little bit longer, and then let's go get one hour massages. My man. Or maybe two hours, who knows? Who knows? All right. She does. Let's get even here, and then we'll, we'll get on out of here. Oh, you already did. We paid. Let's get on out of here. Hey, I love that tuk-tuk made out of a chang can. You know, I've always wanted one since my first visit, but I never actually bought one, and this one looks amazing. Oh, really? So maybe I bought the souvenirs backwards. This shouldn't be for you and the wallet for your No, wallet. it's okay. I'll have to get one next time. That is amazing. I, I like it. But I really like the wallet. Thank you so much. <laughs> that is amazing. All right. Thank you so much. Bro. What's up, bro? Tuk Tuk. Now you're playing that. Thank you, I'm okay. We're just walking around right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, how do you say? Kapun Karab. Okay. <laughs> Gladys is funny. But yeah, a lot of nice street food can be found on these streets. Now, I don't know exactly what we can get for the 150 bots, but maybe, maybe we should grab ourselves. Oh, did something just catch your eye? <laughs> She's well, just telling me how all the stands, they get you. No, something catch my... I know, that is the tight tea. Yeah, it's because there just smells everywhere and they just keep getting you. But, um, I wonder if I should just splurge and buy some elephant pants because that's what people do on Khaosan Road. Let's see what we can get. I want some. See, the problem is, is when you spend enough time in Thailand, especially with Gladys who loves elephant pants, you know which ones are the good ones and they're the ones that don't have elastic at the bottom. We don't like those. So let's see if we can't find them. Wow, her stand smells amazing and I like the way she presents that, huh? Sawadika, you have elephant pants uh, with no elastic? No elastic. No yeah. elastic. Yeah. How much? Yeah, 100 baht. 100 baht? Yeah. You have one size for me? I'm big size, too much pad to compare. I have only one size. Oh, it's one size fit all. Oh, those are nice. I like those. What about some other styles? Oh, I like those ones. Black and white is simple. It goes with everything. Well, you nice have to red, lounge around. You have yellow, orange. You have pink. Oh, you that have one's burgundy. nice. You know what? I'll do burgundy. You have green. I think burgundy is a nice color. Burgundy. Okay, this. Why not? Things you gotta do when you're in Thailand, especially on Khao San Road. You gotta get some elephant and how pants. How much are the t-shirts? 200. 200. Okay, I just take the pants, please. Take two, one. No, just one. One. Two, one. This. Okay. One back, okay. Just one. This. One. No, no. I, I put one back, okay. No, here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or where do you want them? Sorry. No, that's fine. <laughs> Kapun cap. She almost got us with the two for one. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so you're so kind. Only one. Only one. No, no, no. Thank you, thank you. Oh, she was just confused. All right. It happened. Over here, they're actually doing henna tattoos and real tattoos. They got the coconut ice cream. And of course, this is where you can find like the tuk tuk rides to take you around the city. And they're actually selling buckets over there across the street. Oh man, Andrew, you going for your first bucket, boy? Maybe after the 
massage. Maybe after the massage, all right, fair enough. What's up, bro? <laughs> Maybe after the massage, okay, well. You know what, guys, I think this is gonna be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was just a nice little catching up, and I wanted to show you guys Kalsan Road. What was that? I think I can drink it while I'm getting my massage. Um, I'm not sure about that. I know out here you can, but definitely not inside. But if we sit on the street, you can have one. Andrew hasn't had a bucket, so, you know, we gotta break them in the right way. But yeah, we can definitely get to the buckets, but I, you know what? We're gonna save the bucket time for after the video, though. Um, actually, let's see how much the bucket costs right here. Hello, sir. You sell bucket? No. No? I don't sell bucket. Okay, okay. Over there, over there, sell bucket. Over there? Yeah. Okay, all right. Fish shop. You want to go check it out? You have some cash on you? Yeah. This big bro is tapped right now. I'm about to figure the situation out, though. Andrew is actually about to pull some money out for me, but um, it always sucks when your cards get locked and stuff like that overseas. All right, wow, they brought the gator out right now. I've always wondered how they carry that thing out of here. Now my answers have been answered, or questions have been answered. So you can imagine right now, once the sun sets all the way and it gets dark, this turns into a crazy place. How much for the bucket, sir? 200? 400. 400. Okay, 400 for a bucket. You take all. What comes inside of a bucket? You got the Sangsum, the Thai Red Bull, and a Coca-Cola. It's a bomb. The recipe's been the same for years since my first visit to Thailand. Okay. Um, One bucket or two buckets. Is Andrew going for a bucket? Should I get a bucket? Are they all the same? Well, you can get them with different liquors and different sodas. Like, you could get it with a Sprite. Yeah, different spots, right? Yeah. You want to check out another spot? All right, let's check out one more. We'll be right back, sir. Along the street here, you can actually find a lot of people with offers. So let's see if we can get one more better deal. I always recommend when you're when you're around Kalsan Road in these areas to, you know, bounce around a few spots, get some prices down. That way you know kind of what to look for and which spot has the best prices. Um, but then again, yeah, you never really know. Uh, prices fluctuate based on the way that the economy is and yeah, this is Gladys' favorite cart. You're probably going to end up getting something, huh? This is the bucket I want. You want a bucket of Thai tea? <laughs> should mm -hmm. we Should we get one? I want one. All right, let's get one. It smells so good. Sawadee so cup. Sawadee so cup. Can we get one Thai tea? Yeah. Okay, I know for you. How much Thai tea? 40 baht. Okay. You have boba? Huh? Boba? <laughs> I don't think when I say boba, I don't the think bubble, I bubble tea, boba. No. Okay, Thai tea. Thai tea. Sorry. Look how these ladies get down. I mean, they just make the most incredible everything, incredibly fast. Do you have the money? <laughs> I do have the money. Sorry. We gotta go hit this ATM like emergency level right now. I'm ordering stuff for myself. And there you go. I don't ask. Yeah, you know what? I think we gotta, um, we're gonna have to put these camera down here in a second because we gotta hit the ATM because I can't let Andrew get buy himself his first bucket. We've been going hard though all day. But we've been we've been just buying absolutely everything all day long. The cash just goes through. I, I swear we pulled out. That, no, but you know what? We made another video this morning. Oh man, how's this truck gonna get through? We made another video this morning where I actually um, helped out Mealy and that was a really like unexpected I, I wasn't expecting to give her absolutely anything, but you know, she was going through some tough times, so that's why I provided her with that money. And that actually, um, I think that's the reason why I can't pull out. It's because I exceeded my daily limits. This morning I pulled out around 300 US and it's gone. So, um, yeah, maybe I just gotta wait until tomorrow to pull the money back out. But look at the traffic jam here on Khao San. Bye. Yeah, Khao San's always extremely busy, especially in the late evenings. The bucket I love. It's only missing boba. It's missing the boba? Gladys can't do without the boba. It needs the boba. <laughs> All right, let's find this bucket because it is starting to get pretty dark out here now. It's, well, for the camera standards. The camera doesn't do too good once the sun starts to set. 
You know, it's crazy though, Gladys, because you've been out here at night with me, and at night, once it hits 9 p.m., the streets are completely filled with buckets. Like, yeah. that you can buy a bucket from a anywhere. Like, and music, music, bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. <laughs> yeah, they go hard. But look at now, it looks very nice, the stream. Yeah, it turns into like, during the day, it's a street food market, right? Exactly. And, and at night, market, it's a proper party. All right, you know what? Let's keep walking. This place looks a little bit too busy. Let's walk into this spot right here. Okay, let's see. Hello, ma'am. How much for the bucket? Double one, two. And oh, okay, six. thanks, some. Thanks, some. What got? And we want mix it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's do one. Yeah, do. A Why not? When we sit right here. Yeah. Cup and cup. Thank you. Um, what? We'll do sangsam? Yeah. We'll do sangsam. And you want mix it? Um, do Sprite. Sprite. Yes, thank you. Okay, well, we're getting our bucket. Man, the first time I'm getting a bucket since 2017. When I first came here, all I did was party and I drank buckets 24 7. Um, but nowadays, kind of growing a little old for that, at least, at least for everyday type of thing. But this is your first time, so let's enjoy a nice little bucket. And Gladys has still never enjoyed a bucket, but yeah, oh, she'll the drink the Thai tea. Enjoy something better, Thai tea. Yeah, she does. It probably is better. This is probably gonna taste a little bit, eh. but when in Rome, right, guys? So you know what? I think um, as soon as these Thai tea, um, these Thai teas, as soon as these buckets make it on out of here, um, well, we'll finish the vlog. But for now, uh, this is a view of the streets. It's just amazing out here. Oh, Thailand is just a vibe. You never want to leave, right, Andrew? I am never leaving because Thailand, Thailand, it's amazing. This I miss is my, flight. my favorite country. Thailand. Andrew's thinking about missing his flights. Thank you. I think that's a great idea, actually. You know what? Why not? Let's bring mom to Thailand for Thanksgiving. How about that? That'd be a good idea. All right. Ready for a crazy Friday night in Khao San Road? Gladys, that's where literally she spends her nights. Andrew and I will probably just hang out for a little, a couple of drinks because we have to actually take off pretty early tomorrow. We got responsible things to do. We're taking them to Chatu Chuck Weekend Market. Andrew's never been and Gladys loves that place. So that's where we're gonna be spending our Saturday morning. But for now, time to enjoy Friday night. You were always smarter. I was the one. 